It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. The two teams emerging from their respective tunnels a minute ago to the approval of this Baltimore crowd. They're all set as their Ravens will match up with the Seattle Seahawks. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A big play there. 45 yards. And the Seahawks have taken a first quarter lead. Out to kick is Janikowski. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now, first and 10 at their own 23. All right, now, lucky 56, lucky 56. They'll throw on first down with Jackson, being chased out left. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So he wanted to pass it, but that thing turned out much better. And the crowd really responded, didn't they? They always like it better when the quarterback is scrambling around, actually takes off and runs downfield. And that's exactly what he did. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. carry here for Ty Montgomery. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Inside the 20 at the 19. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. First red zone chance now for the Ravens. First and 10 at the 19. Detroit! Detroit! From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. 
Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full seat. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Ty Montgomery from eight yards out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Before this next drive gets going, we need to discuss the Hall of Fame inductees. There will be eight in the 2019 class. We got Champ Bailey, Tony Gonzalez, Ty Law. Who, who else am I forgetting in there? Well, how about a big guy? A lineman, Kevin Mawai, who was absolutely terrific in his career. How about Ed Reed with the Baltimore Ravens and the great job he did in the secondary there? Pat Bowler, Gil Brandt as contributors, the owner of the Broncos and the longtime scout with the Cowboys. And I love the senior committee bringing in Johnny Robinson, the safety with Kansas City. Tony Gonzalez was a first ballot guy. And, of course, when I hear Ty Law's name, you think, wow, he started this great Patriots dynasty that we're still living in. You're exactly right. And the Patriots, with all of their championships, probably underrepresented in the Hall of Fame. On first down, Wilson forced out to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And prior to this third and two play, we're going to get a timeout call. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Third and two, now Wilson. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. A gain of 13 and also a first down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. First and ten, it's Wilson. This will be caught inside the ten. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to strike for six. Janikowski adds the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Out to kick is Janikowski. And 
And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Well, CD, the NFL held its awards show the night before the Super Bowl. And as you and I had speculated the last few weeks, Patrick Mahomes, MVP, Offensive Player of the Year. And for the second straight season, how about Aaron Donald, Defensive Player of the Year? Yeah, Donald was expected. We knew that was going to happen. Mahomes, we thought would happen. But there was that school of thought that maybe Drew Brees might walk away with the MVP since he's never won one. But Mahomes, a deserving winner. How about the Offensive Rookie of the Year? Saquon Barkley with the Giants. Many thought it might be Baker Mayfield with Cleveland. Yeah, defensive rookie of the year, Darius Leonard of the Colts, and the Colts comeback player of the year, Andrew Luck, and very deservedly so. I would say that for sure, and he beat out J.J. Watt, who also would have been a deserving winner. Coach of the year, I thought, was a close vote, or probably should have been closer to me, because I thought Anthony Lynn from the Chargers Detroit! deserves some Detroit! respect, but Matt Nagy of the Bears, he ends up winning the award. They went 12-4 and four in his rookie season. And then last one we need to mention, Chris Long of the Eagles. Eagles well-deserved Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year. Congrats to all. Yeah, how about that? Donated his first four game checks to fund a literacy program that donated free books and mentoring services for families. I remember last season, he donated every game check to causes that he felt strongly about. 18 yards on his first catch of the game. It's a first down. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot! Patriot! Jackson. A dump off for Dixon. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, the and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Jackson on first down. This throw caught right around the six. Give him 30 yards there. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. They give it to him running left. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Baltimore right, now, after 56. this. Lucky 56. Point. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kicks away. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work 
but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line well off topic but we'd be remiss if we didn't point out what else was happening Super Bowl weekend the Madden 19 Club Championship second major this season two more to follow and our winner Harvin representing the Oakland Raiders he took down the Vikings and with nowhere to escape and he goes down Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Now Wilson on first down. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Second and ten. It's Wilson again. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. On third down, Wilson. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 30. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. The drive starts with a run by Collins. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. No, 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 no. Check. Patriot. Patriot. On first, they go right back to Collins. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The Ravens moving quickly here as the clock runs. On second down, Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. John Brown. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Ravens have broken the tie. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. Here's Tucker now out to kick this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. While we have a second here, let's peek back to the Super Bowl. The lowest scoring Super Bowl, Charles, in history, 13 to three. And it took us 53 minutes to get our first touchdown of Super Bowl 53. Can you believe they went into the half? Three to nothing, New England. Steven Goskowski with a field goal. Then they finally tie it up with Greg Zerline at the end of three quarters of the Rams knocking one through the post. The Patriots are third team to win the year after losing the Super Bowl, the first since the Dolphins in 1972. And, of course, the big number now for New England, six titles, and they are tied with the Steelers for the most ever. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. 
as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. On first and 10, Wilson. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes his quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe you want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Start on the ground with Montgomery. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Watch him now, Barney! Barney! On second down, Collins. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out come the Ravens now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Now with the play clock about to expire, we get a whistle and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. begin the drive with Collins and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield success on first down huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. The first throw for the backup, Griffin. On the move to his left. He uncorks it for Sneed. So the long attempt falls innocently to the ground, and it brings up third. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On third down, they go Montgomery. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. He lost two, and it brings up four. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big.
So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. Detroit! Detroit! Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Hot. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Wilson. It's caught on the left side by Baldwin. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. They've got a first and 10 from the 10. From the shotgun, Wilson. And Wilson's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 14. He's at the 50. The 30. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. And now the Ravens calling the offense onto the field here as they're going to go for two. Leopard, Leopard. Let's go. After the interception, here's Jackson. tacked on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Oh yeah, and everybody's scrambling, maybe you catch the defense on their heels, they weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover, you take it away, they stuck it in the end zone, keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Back to the air, Wilson after the pick six. He's going to float this one deep right side. And he couldn't hang on. Would have been their fourth pick of the game. Instead, second down. Well, I guess that answers the question whether or not they want him throwing it again right away after throwing the pick six on the previous drive. Yeah, not something conservative or underneath. Pretty big shot right there. Get him right back in the saddle and say, go ahead and sling it, big guy. To throw is Wilson. And he's going to be great. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the return here 